Mark here. I got the PCS 1000, and we're gonna powder coat some of these parts here. Got a cast aluminum intake, chrome stamp steel valve cover. What I wanna show you is a couple of the favorite nozzles that I like for these tough to coat areas when you're powder coating. So let's get to it. So I'm starting with our large conical nozzle. What this does is disperses the powder into about a three, four inch diameter sphere. We're gonna stay about 10 inches from the part, just give a motion like this. We're gonna have a lot of powder come out, but at a low volume, so it'll be quick coverage and even. So I just got done spraying the valve cover with the conical nozzle. And you see it gave a nice even coverage on today. There's, there's one or two areas I see down by the bolt holes there where we'll hit later, a little Faraday area. I just switched over to the fan nozzle. This thing generally is used for large flat pieces. What I wanna do is just show you the coverage that you'll get on the valve cover here. And remember, there's no right and wrong for nozzles. What you wanna do with powder coating is get an even film build onto it. Get the part in the oven. So if you like using the fan, use that. If the conicals work for you, use that. So let's get started. So we just finished with the fan nozzle and you saw that. With the, uh, with the regulator in there, you can get this thing out to like a six, eight inch fan. But it was enough, covered that valve cover very quickly. What I wanna do is show you the black fogging nozzle. This nozzle here is used for any of those Faraday areas where you may have some problems. We have two, like I said, by the mount holes there. So you simply put the nozzle on and we're gonna use burst. Still 10 inches away. So let's go ahead and hit those areas. Use a high intensity light, look for the light spots. Now we'll just throw the parts in the oven for a cure. All right, so the valve covers are done, came out of the oven, look real good. So we're gonna prep the manifold here. I have it taped off, cleaned it, everything's ready. I'm gonna be using the fan nozzle to start. Same thing, 10 inches back, get a lot of powder on, get off. We run into any you know, spots with a Faraday or tough ones, then we'll deal with them as we go, either using the uh, fogging nozzle or going to a conical. So let's coat it. All right, so coverage is a little bit light in that corner there because of some Faraday. I'm gonna hit it with the black fogging nozzle. Oh, there we go, much better. We got the chrome one, came out of the oven, looks real good. This is our bonded chrome. What we're gonna do now is put some translucent red over top of it. 
Still have the fan nozzle on. Worked great putting on the first coat, so we'll do the same thing. If we run into any Faraday areas in there, I'll put the fogging nozzle on and do the trigger burst to hit them. Brought the intake out of the oven with the translucent red on it. Looks real good, it's still hot. We're gonna let this cool down for about a half hour before we do anything more with it. But what you saw here is you got a multitude of nozzles with the PCS 1000. Pick what works for you. Could be the fan, could be the conical. If you want more information or to buy a unit today, visit eastwood.com.